Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel 8 framework tutorial. This is our part number 12. Inside this video, we will continue all about components class what we had discussed in the last video. And also guys, if you are looking of the blog articles of KickPHP 4, CodeIgniter 4, MySQL, Node.js, WordPress, then you must visit this blogging website. If I back to browser, this is our blogging website. Inside this you can find all about blog, which list, all the blogs what we have created inside this application or we have category wise. So inside this blog, you will find all about CodeIgniter 4 articles, WordPress, KickPHP 4, MySQL, Node.js as well as Laravel 8. If I scroll down, here we have a latest blog post section which indicates recently posted blog articles. So back to the topic, in the last video we have discussed and seen all about that is how can we create components inside Laravel 8 as well as we had seen that how can we load inside view template files. Now inside this video we need to pass some attributes and we will see that how can we get access over those attributes and render those values. Now if I back to slide, this is the slide actually what we have talked about in the last video. So here we have our component class and this is the tag what actually we have called. So inside this tag, let's say that we are passing some attributes that is let's type and inside this type, let's say we have error type and the message we need to display. So here we have a message attributes and let's say that sample error message. So these are the two attributes with two different values we have attached inside this our component tag. So let's see all these things in action. So if I back to editor go inside this about.blade.php where actually we have called our component tag. So inside this let's say that we are passing some attributes that is type equal to error and we have a message something let's say sample error message. So how can we get access over these attributes? Go inside this class file because this is the control of the component and here first we need to receive all these values. Go inside this message.php and as we know that we are passing two attributes. So here we need to actually define or declare two public variables that is public member variables. So public access specifier next we need to give or declare equal to type and next we have public message. These are the two variables which basically access those values what we are passing from here. So we have type and message. So that's why we have defined two variables that is type and message. Now next we need to get this, these values and assign to these variables. So firstly let's say that we are getting two values while declaring our component tag. So by the help of these two variables we are getting our value. Next we need to actually initialize these variables. So let's say this type equal to type. This is the variable means it's a value what we are getting from here that is error and simply while getting this value we are actually initializing this variable. Now next in the same pattern we need to do with the message. So let's message equal to and what the value we are getting from our tag. So simply here we have now successfully retrieved or accessed all the values what we have passed inside this. Now next we need to render inside this template. So once we have declared the variables inside this we can get access over this rendering template as what we had seen inside our blade syntax. So here we have two variables called type 
and message. So to access this value, simply we need to type curly pairs and simply type type here. In the case of message, here we will have simple call message. Back to the template file and let's say that here if I write curly pairs, let's say that this is type and simply we are printing let's say message. So here we have called message. Now if I save these changes, keep in mind we had done all inside this about.play.php. So go here. Now if I reload this route, as we can see that we have type equal to error and the message what we have passed something sample error message. Now if you go inside this editor, let's say that we are copy this syntax, go inside this products.blade.php because inside this file also we have called. So we are removing x hyphen message because this time we need to pass some attributes. So what I will do, simply I have done copy from here and pasted here. So let's say that this is all about type equal to success and this is sample success message. Now it will work as exactly what we had seen for this about case, but this time values are different. While calling this component tag, we have some attributes. It is calling message.php, initializing all about type and message variable and printing this inside this layout. So if I go here and reload this page, as we can see that type equal to success and the message we have sample success message. So really, the concept of components in Laravel is very very interesting. Now let's see one more thing if I back to editor. So right now as we can see that we have passed actually the static values. What will happen if we pass the value from the controller and the value will be dynamically placed inside these attributes? How can we get access over this message.php class file and to this layout? So go inside this web.php, let's say that inside this about us, make an array because we are going to pass some value inside this layout and here let's say page equal to and we are passing about us. In case of products, also we are passing some values so let's say page equal to and this is products page. So right now as we can see that we are passing value to these few files. Back to the layout, this is about.blade.php and here let's say page equal to and as we know that to print any value we need to pass curly pairs and here we need to pass page and this is the variable actually we are getting value from here but inside means component calling tag to print dynamic value we need to pass colon symbol. It means that this is a variable containing a static message and this is a variable containing dynamic message. Only the difference is that we need to add a colon symbol in front of dynamic value key. Now save this change. If we go inside this class file Next, we need to define one more public variable. So public, let's say page. Now next, we are getting this page variable means from this tag what we have defined. And finally, we need to let's say this page equal to page. The first page, this is the first page what we have the variable name and this is the second page what we are getting the value from this tag. Now save this change and in the same pattern if we need to print the value of page simply we need to write something like this back to the template and let's say here and page need to write curly pairs and let's say dollar symbol and write page variable so save this change back to browser go inside this about page reload this page and I think that we are getting some error and this is about.play.php. So need to go inside this template file. So back to editor 
and here we are calling our page variable back to the template and here we have two static variables called type and message and the thing actually we have done mistake in is that if we have attached or tooled that is this is dynamic variable which is printing the dynamic value so inside that case we not need actually not need to pass curly pairs simply we need to write page here this variable after getting this column symbol automatically tells the application that it is printing dynamic value so need not to pass curly pairs here so this is our silly mistake so if we save rest all the things remain same go and reload this page and as we can see that here we are getting our type message and the page type again in the same way if we need to do inside this products page so this is all about to pass dynamic value and the dynamic value we are getting inside this page so simply we are not actually we are not writing our curly pairs instead we are simply now passing our variable so save this change rest all the things remain same because this is the value get accessing inside this construct method and finally inside this layout we are printing so save all the stuffs go and reload this page all about about us we are getting page type as well and here inside this products page we are getting the page name as well so this is all about guys that is inside component how can we use how can we create and how can we pass our attributes inside attributes we had seen for the static like a static variable values as well as dynamic values so one more time that is components are the reusable sections of application like a section or a layout that can be reused throughout the application like we have display message layout and display page header let's say we have an admin panel inside that admin panel we have like something messages we at which we are showing after saving our form let's say student has been created or student deleted successfully so printing those alert messages we can use this components based concept while calling our components inside our view files we need to pass these type of attributes here we have for the sample or for the demonstration we had seen for this type message and the dynamic variable in your case application will be different you can actually opt many of the dynamic attributes so hopefully guys from the last video and this video we have some now concept about components in level and the concept of components is not actually the newly added modules of Laravel 8 it is from Laravel 7 so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day